How's it going everyone? Music Lover back with another episode, and today I'm going to continue on the little mini-series that I made. I'm going to talk about the anime shows that I watched this last season, and this episode I'm going to talk about the Classroom of the Elite. This show was sweet. There were some things that I didn't like about it, but the overall power of me wanting to see this class, Class D, go to Class A just stuck me in there and wanted me to keep watching. Now the show is about all these high school students that are in this really fancy school that if you stay in the school, you graduate from the school, you can get a very high paying job and it is a very respected school. Now in this school, there are certain things like points that you can gain to become a higher class. You always stay in your class of your main group of friends. So like there's an A class, there's a B class, there's a C class, and there's a D class. You stay in those main group of classmates, but you can become from D class to A class based on your points and the amount of skill that your class has. And your rank determines how powerful your class is and how good your class is and your possible jobs you might get in the future. So the show is about you trying to raise your rank so that this class, class D, which you follow, can become the number one class in the school because class in the school is the most important thing. So we follow the story of, I'm going to call him a Koji because the names are a bit hard for me to pronounce, but we follow the story of mainly this boy and this girl, which I'm not going to say they're friends because they're not really, especially with the ending of this season where it shows the true form of this main character. <laughs> it follows the story of this main character and this other side character that want to become class A really, really bad. And I'm not going to say they work together, but they both have a common goal. I'm not going to say that they're allies, that they're friends, that they're anything. They just have a common goal to get to class A. So this entire show of this season is them trying to get up the ranks and struggling until the very last episode, which I was extremely happy and like celebrated for them because it was awesome. But anyway, enough about the story. I don't want to spoil too much because one of the draws in the story is watching them succeed or fail because it is very hit or miss with them. As much as they try, they don't always succeed. Now I want to move on to the animation. The animation, in my opinion, was very, very pretty. I loved this art style of this show. It's just the colors and there was a lot of purple and I was surprisingly okay with it because there was one character that had red and purple hair, which at first was a little strange for me but it was actually kind of cool at the end. <laughs> it, it grabbed my attention, so yeah, it was, it was cool. At first, I didn't think I would like it. I didn't think I'd like the art style. I didn't think I'd like the show, but it grew on me. Every episode, especially around the end of the episode, would grab you and want to take you on to the next episode. But then you'd have to wait until the next week to get that episode, which is the worst thing about anime because they need to stop doing that for the love of God. I'd rather just wait longer and get all of it then have to watch it for several months. <laughs> but that might just be me being impatient because I, I I, like the Netflix method of here you go, here's all of it. Anime needs to do that. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I, I enjoyed this show. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, get my ideas out there. I thought it was very well done. There, I think it was one filler episode, which was okay. I kind of wanted to skip over it because, of course, it's the beach swimsuit episode you get in a lot of anime. <laughs> But no, I, uh, I actually enjoyed this show and I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that we get a season two because I want to I see this class succeed. Um, there was a lot of interesting characters, a lot of characters you really wanted to root for, and then some characters that just uh, kind of blew you to the side because you were surprised by their actual character. Some of them will seem nice, but are like the craziest people you have ever met in your life. Um, yes, it's just, it, it's so interesting, and this show just grabbed my attention straight on after I got past, like, not thinking I would like the art style, or not thinking I liked the characters. I eventually grew to just love it and wanted to keep watching it, and I'm kind of sad that it's over. Yeah, this was one of my favorite shows of the season. I would highly recommend this. Like I said, I'm hoping for a season two. I liked the story, I liked the characters, I liked some of the surprises that you would get, especially at the end, and I liked the teamwork that you would get within the class. 
Um, yes, I would highly recommend this. Go ahead and give it a shot. It's very, very fun, but I'm not an anime expert. I just watch stuff to see if I like it, and if I like it, I'll continue watching it, I guess. Um, yeah, just go ahead and check it out. I, I want to know what you guys think. Go ahead, leave comments below. Talk to me about it. I love talking to you guys about anime or anything you want to talk about. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get my thoughts out there and continue this series. I hope you like it. Uh, but anyway, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day and peace.